Zimbabweans, fellow Zimbabweans, following the address we made on the 13th of November, which we believe our main broadcaster, Zimbabwe Broadcasting Corporation and the Herald, were directed not to publicize the situation in our country has moved to another level. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, we wish to assure the nation that His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe and Commander in Chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, Comrade Araji Mugabe, and his family are safe and sound, and their security is guaranteed. We are only targeting criminals around him who are committing crimes which are causing social and economic suffering in the country in order to bring them to justice. As soon as we have accomplished our mission, we expect that the situation will return to normalcy. To the generality of the people of Zimbabwe, we urge you to remain calm and limit unnecessary movement. However, we encourage those who are employed and those with essential businesses to continue their normal activities as usual. To the youths, we call upon you to realize that the future of this country is yours. Do not be enticed with the dirty coins of silver. Be disciplined and remain committed to the ethos and values of this great nation. To both our people and the world beyond our borders, we wish to make it abundantly clear that this is not a military takeover of government. To members of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, all leave is cancelled and you are all to return to your barracks with immediate effect. To other security services, we urge you to cooperate for the good of our country. Let it be clear that we intend to address the human security threats in our country. Therefore, any provocation will be met with an appropriate response. To the media, we urge you to report fairly and responsibly. Thank you. Next. Defense Forces, General Constantino Kuvea Chiwenga, I would like to apologize for the statement I made yesterday, Tuesday, together with my executive at the ZANU-PF headquarters. I, as leader of the Revolutionary Party's Youth League, I have reflected and personally admitted that I erred. I was ill-advised to read a statement which I and the Youth League had neither originated nor authored. The document which I read was handed it over by one Rodney Dangarembizi. We, 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 are, we are still young people. <laughs> we are still growing up and learning from our mistakes. From this big mistake, we have learned a lot. I would also like to emphasize that this statement which I have given, I have not been persuaded, neither coerced or forced to do as such. I emphasize that I have reflected on my own as a young person, as leader of the Youth League, hence I have come to this juncture of offering myself to the state media to give this public apology. I thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 